guys. <laughs> Welcome to Last Night On here on the Stream.TV. I'm Jessica Hickam. And my name is Xavier Brinkman, and we are here to recap on everything that happened on last night's TV. Sunday, it's a good one. I'm glad we got I this know. night. Okay, Sunday night is so good. Yeah. I think I said that last week, but I'm just obsessed with Sunday night TV right now. It's, it's killing awesome. it. So we're going to be going through Secrets and Lies, uh, The Royals, which just premiered last night, and Last Man on Earth. So, Secrets and Lies. Secrets and Lies. Um, you know what? I'm really getting into this show. I think it's interesting. We were kind of talking earlier about how I really think they're setting it up so each week you find out a different secret about someone in the neighborhood so everyone's got some dirt and ultimately you just have no idea at this point who who actually killed it's getting the little like kid. you know ben it's it's getting it's getting very complicated and intertwined and things yes. are coming out every yeah. week and it's like it's like what seems like such a simple case i guess is becoming is just really unraveling to be pretty crazy and, and right. as you said so it's like there's like it's like almost like it focuses on a different neighbor every every, every week. week but at the end of the day i really think the ultimate killer is going to be one of the family members or one of the core people that we saw in the pilot yeah i think just around this you're finding out everybody's secrets which ryan felipe's character is kind of at the center of all of it and he's going crazy because he keeps finding out all these complicated secrets that point to different people. And he's just, he's like accusing everyone at the He's moment. just accusing like everyone. He's, go, he's going nuts. And also, uh, so we had, I mean, like, what did you think of the, the doctor? We had the doctor couple last, so Dr. Richardson and his wife, Vanessa. Little side note, Dr. Richardson is a photographer, and I was like, oh, oh that's, yeah, yeah. that's Steve, because I, I was shooting photos with him at his house in Venice a couple months ago, and I was like, <laughs> The hell? Like, hey, <laughs> but um, so hey, I mean, you know, what was it? There, not only were they accused of, of beating their son, but they're also. Right. It turns out they they are siblings as well. They are half siblings oh, they're, as well. They're married, but they're half siblings. All right, so which is why he had the bruising because he had it's what is it called? Sure. He hemophilia. Sure. So <laughs> shit. So shit's pretty weird there. Let's we'll see how that pans out right. next week. But uh, and then obviously, what do you think of the voicemail thing at the end? Like it's like Juliet Lewis is keeps finding, like digging up dirt on Ben. So there was a voice message at the end yeah. saying like, I apologize for what you're going to see tomorrow. Did well, you see that? Um, was that in the previous for next week? That was, it was at the very end of last night's episode. I don't remember seeing it. Yeah, that. it was like she plays, okay, so what does she, she say? plays him, she just plays him a voicemail saying, uh, you know, and it's him saying, uh, you know, he's all like out of breath and he's like, I, I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, right. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. yeah um, I, part of me thinks that the theory that she is just giving harassing him to try to weed out the real killer mm -hmm. might be right because she's so mean to him she is but i mean like that was like cold hard evidence she had on him as well so it's like he's in he's in serious trouble this guy like, right, he keeps, right. She, she's she's really going going to town on him yeah that's true anyway next week we'll see what happens but what okay. do you think of the royals premiere last night um i loved it i was actually obsessed with the premiere i could Man. not stop watching it like i i was writing a review for uh, the other website that I work yeah. for, and I'm like trying to write my review, and I couldn't, I couldn't tear my eyes away. It was so Elizabeth good. Elizabeth Hurley has aged very well, right? Yeah, it's like holy shit. And it's totally fulfilling, like the Gossip Girl need in me. Yeah. We haven't had a show like Gossip Girl OC mm -hmm. in a while, and it's it's that, but it's written so that it kind of knows what it is. Sure, and uh, so yeah, I think Elizabeth Hurley is like a perfect fit for the Queen. Um, Willie Mo. Uh, What's his last name? William Mosley. Um, Mosley. Yeah. He's like grown up since the Narnia days. Yeah. I think yeah. he's. I know. And I know Jess has a little bit of a crush on him, but yeah, you can have um, Indiana Evans. I'll take yeah. William Mosley. But um, We're good. man, he's grown up, and he like is a perfect fit for this role. I think. Oh, think? and he, yeah, the whole relationship element. Like, there's a lot of cliche things in the series, like, you know, commoner meets prince, and they like each other, and then you've got like the king who doesn't want to be a king. But it works so well. I, I love it. For some reason, it just feels fresh. It's kind of nostalgic, yeah. but in, in this modern, awesome way. I know. I, I actually got hooked as well. Like, I was like, oh, better check this show out for the, uh, for the review show, like, for the last night on tomorrow. And I actually really enjoyed it. So yeah. what did you think of the fashion in the show? Well, I, uh, I mean, I'm like, all right, Jess is going to love this. I know. And that's, see, that's one thing. It's, it is E's first scripted series, mm -hmm. but it's still E. So you know that there's going to be fashion. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I definitely noticed, it's a British show. They're going with the hats. Mm -hmm. Those, like, crazy fascinators. What a, fascinators. Uh, I'm down with, I'm down with yeah. the fashion lingo. Don't worry, guys. If you, if you just saw on your screen, we just had a picture for you of the fascinators. And... I don't know. I think I could rock one. 
I think you could pull it off. Yeah, I think I could pull it off. I, I really kind of want one, but yeah. um, I don't know. If, I don't know if LA is like a classy enough atmosphere. Like, I don't know if we have enough like tea parties in LA that yeah. I could pull off the fascinator. I think I think you'd be fine. I think I could pull it off as well. Oh yeah, but, we should um, both wear yeah, fascinators it's, yeah, next it's week honestly, on the show. I mean, I was watching the um, I was watching the review and like the behind the scenes with the director and like there's some cool stuff going on. I'm actually I'm actually into it as much as it yeah. would, it typically wouldn't appeal to a person like me. I actually really enjoyed it too. So I'm, yeah, I'm ready to see what happens next week and get into it and talk about it more. But. In the meantime, are we ready to move on? Yeah, should we talk Last Man on last Earth? Last Man on Earth. What are you, all right, I, I'm not even going to ask you because I have a lot to say on that. So, yeah, you, you take it away. Yeah, well, <laughs> so if, if, if any of you who are watching Last Man on Earth, it started off like, it was, I mean, I felt like it started off really cool. It was like this out of this world, like sitcom, I mean, no, sorry, not sitcom. Um, it was just this like crazy sort of scenario where ever like where like the little boy and everyone got brought out like me and I can't stop thinking about all the crap that I would do if I yeah. was the last person on earth and I would definitely be throwing bowling balls at fish tanks. And then but, you get um, women in and it's all complicated. Yeah, so it's like I felt last <laughs> night that it just it, it really like flatlined last night. Like I don't know, how did you feel about yeah, it? Yeah, I was so excited when January Jones popped up in the end of last week's episode. Like it's getting good. Yeah. She's here. Yeah. Things are going down. I didn't really like her character. I was so I was really I was like <laughs> trying to like I, I was disappointed as well, and I was trying to, to decide figure out why. And I was reading some recaps and reviews, and like and the, and what they're saying online is correct. I feel it's like they're saying it's become this like conventional sitcom now, where it's like this stereotypical scene where like the conventional husband and even like he's even shaved like Will Forte shaved his beard now. So yeah, it's like it's, he's it's like, like appeasing the girl. Yeah, it's like this like like. A stereotypical scenario where like the married like the married like husband is like lusting over some like right. babe across right. the road and and it, and the the, my, uh, the reason I love the show so much is because it was so uh, like far away from anything else that we'd seen before it was like set in this right. unbelievable setting that you couldn't even imagine and now it's like somehow like pulled itself back to this conventional scenario which I just wasn't into I was like fuck this is boring you know like I think there's still hope I, I'm I'm not giving up on it just because of last night's episode mm -hmm. I think they could pull it, pull it back, but yeah. yeah, I, I really thought when January Jones was like, "Hey, uh, that doesn't matter, right? Like, you guys got married, but like, who cares?" I yeah. really thought like, "Oh, okay, things are gonna get interesting. Yeah. She's gonna be like, into him." Mm -hmm. And then she was totally mean to him. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that Will Forte comes like by next week. He's just like, you know what, like, because obviously he he was playing this annoying character last night that you know yeah. he was like trying to like impress her the whole time, and it and was really annoying. It was bad. I'm hoping yeah. that I'm hoping that he just goes, you know what, like, screw all you guys. I'm gonna go back to being how I was, and then he turns yeah. into like the freaking mad dog that he was, and then just goes out and gets ridiculous right. again. Right, because that was the most fun. Yeah, and then she and then she's really into it as well, and they go start steamrolling like beer and stuff like I, that. I really think that he's going to end up falling in love with his wife, like genuinely falling in love with her. They have this like quirky chemistry that like they hate each other, but they love each other. I, so I think in the end it's going to work out for them, but I wasn't ready for it to be so conventional yeah. so soon. Yeah. So I agree. And I mean, that's the thing. It's like, will, if they do end up together, that's such a conventional thing because we already know what's going to happen. Yeah. Right? It, like, uh, that's true. I think something crazy needs to happen. Like so. more women? But anyway, He's anyway, having, having by said women. that, I didn't like the episode last night, but I do quite like the show, you know? I, I, uh, I do too. I, I, I don't know. And it's funny because I'm from Tucson, Arizona, and the whole thing is set in Tucson, Arizona. But let me just say, Tucson is a lot more miserable than they show it in the oh, show. Oh, really? Even though, it, <laughs> even though there's no one there and it looks like the apocalypse? Yeah. Holy yeah. smokes. All right. Well, that's it. What do we think? What's our question for? What do we want to ask you guys? What's the question? For? For next week. For everyone, next week. For everyone, what show are you into the most at the oh. moment? I, I'm going to say, like I said, we've got to wrap this up, but I'm going to say, I actually am really enjoying Last Man on Earth. Even ha like, yeah, that's said your favorite? Like, yeah, Why? So, just, I mean, having said all the things I just said before, like, I lo I, I'm really enjoying it. I don't know, it just like, ap appeals to like, the stupid kid in me that like, would love to go and drive a car through a mall. And uh, and to smash stuff, you know. Um, <laughs> so hopefully they get back to the yeah. Smashing. That appeals to me, and I, I quite like it. You know, what about you? I I have to say the Royals totally sold me last yeah. night. I am all in on this show, and I did not expect to like it as much as I did. But like I said, it's totally fulfilling the Gossip Girl lover within me, and I think I don't know. It's going to be so excited. You have like scandal, intrigue, mm -hmm. shirtless men. Yeah, what, right. what else do I need, people? All right, all right. I see what's going on. <laughs> all right, yeah. Let's wrap it. All right. That's it. All right, That's next it. week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. 
don't forget to tweet us at last night on and uh, we will be answering all your questions throughout the week on Twitter Instagram Facebook mm -hmm. and stuff. we will see you next Monday morning Thank you. Woo.